Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dennis Mariano again with our celebrity Steve. Steve. <laughs> so, last video that we did, we shared with you Steve's benefit from the holistic care that we're providing. So we were thinking about that and he's doing, how are you doing? You doing much better? Yes, better. Yeah? What's improving? Are you, how's your gait? How's walking, your walking? Walking better. My back still hurts sometimes here and there, mm -hmm. but uh, every time I leave from here, I feel great. So. Right. It's only been, what, three weeks, I think, this week? Um, it's, this will be my sixth session. Sixth session, right. So it's been about three weeks, the six sessions within the three weeks. So today, what I wanted to do is actually share a little bit more detail because people are celebrating, you guys who are friends of Steve are celebrating that he's doing really well. And it made me think, do you even know why? You know, I think it's important for people to know why he's doing better. So I wanted to explain that to you um, so that you can have a better understanding and how this can help you uh, as well. Because the reason why Steve and I are doing this, because again, the reason why he had surgery, because he was unaware that there's some conservative care that can actually help him. So we're hoping that somebody that's watching this video who's about to go under the knife or doesn't want to go under the knife and it's still possible to benefit from conservative care, that we would actually provide them with that information. So the reason why Steve had an issue with his low back is because he actually had discs that were protruding. And what that means is that these parts of the spine here were misaligned for so long that the disc began to bulge. See that there? And so what happened here in order to compress that is what the surgeons did is they actually did what's called a laminectomy. They took away some of the vertebrae, the um, lamina here. They sliced those off. From what I remember, there were a couple of them, either two to four of them. Uh, consequently, so Steve before had what's called sciatica, right? Sciatic nerve pain. Yeah, yeah, sciatic nerve pain. So what that is is that if you look at this chart here, down here, is where the sciatic nerve comes down, all the way down to the back of the leg. And it's like a hot burning poker pain. So what happened is that they actually decompress this. So what happened then is, turn to Steve here. So after they did that, so you had sciatic pain, the sciatic pain went away, but what happened? Now I have neuropathy in my legs and my feet, mostly my feet. Which feels like what? It feels like I have rocks in my shoes. It feels like um, they fell asleep like pins and needles all the time. Right. So our goal, and we don't know if we can help that yet, it may take us several years to do that. We're gonna do many other things to try to recover those nerves and so on. From our experience, sometimes that can happen. We're not gonna promise anything, but the most important thing is walking better, his pain, you know, his pain is much, much less and so on. Let me explain to you the mechanism again. Here's what happened here. So another thing is that these nerves not only control pain pathways, which go down here. Look, look at this chart right? If you look at this, the low back nerves control what? You can see they control the organs. See, they control your sexual organs, the prostate, the genitals, the bladder, the kidneys. Can you see this? The intestines. So if you have misalignments here in your low back, this can compromise those nerves and not allow the body to function properly and you can actually get sicknesses in these organs as the years go by. So, the, and if you look at this chart here, all these vertebrae control those different organs. Can you see? The middle back, the neck, the low back area. So all your organs don't function unless there's nerve supply to them coming from here. So what I wanted to show you is what I wanted to share with you guys is that not only is Steve benefiting from becoming more pain-free, but he's actually, those organs are getting good nerve supply communication from his brain to those organs. So what do you think is going to happen to those organs? Are they going to get healthier or sicker over time? Healthier, healthier. Right, but you're not going to feel it because you can't feel those organs. They're not sensory, do you understand? Yeah. So yes, he's benefiting from being pain-free, but even more importantly, he doesn't even know it until I educated him that those organs are going to get good nerve supply and less likely to be sick over time as the years go by. Think about by the time you're 40, 50 years old, what do the doctors tell you to check? You get, get two tests, they said, they want you to do. Oh, yeah, your colonoscopy. Uh, colonoscopy you, you and... Get a peak for your prostate. The prostate, right? Well, guess what controls those organs? Is your nerves in your lower spine. Do you understand? Yeah. So what about making sure that these are healthy so these don't get sick? Does that make sense? Yep. 
So that's really what Absolutely. we wanted. To, yeah, that's really what we wanted to share with you guys tonight is that Steve's getting better, but he's actually getting more benefit because we're making sure the brain and nerve system chiropractic is not about pain alone. It just happens to work that way because when you balance the body and the muscles are functioning properly, your posture is better, you take pressure off the nerve system, the pain goes away. We're not trying to get rid of the pain, we're making the body balance so the pain goes away on its own. As a side effect of that, which is a good side effect, the organs get better and they get healthier. So we wanted to share that with you. Anything else you want to share with your friends there? Uh, no, it's good. I, I'm getting better and we'll see. Yeah, it's just going to be a matter of time. It's only been the third week, so as time goes by, uh, we're going to see more and more improvement. We'll give you guys an update with regard to that. So again, if any of you have benefited, found benefit from this video, please press the like button. And if you found somebody else that you know that could benefit from this as well, please forward this to them, tag them. And then if you yourself are having challenges, feel free to consult with us, see what we can do to help you. Actually, they should try, if you can, before you go do the knife and get operated on, to try this, just, you can't lose anything, just to try this, and then if it doesn't work, then you get then you do the right. knife. But I'm guaranteeing you, almost probably it'll mm -hmm. do something. Yeah, it depends on your clinical outcomes, and we do a good test about to evaluate if you're a good candidate. But thanks again, Steve, for passing it on, passing it forward. So hopefully, we can save somebody from uh, having permanent damage. So again, I'm Dr. Dennis Mariano. Until our next video, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.